So the newest version of Google's AI Studio, which is free by the way, is seriously underrated. And now that we have Gemini 3 Pro integrated into the platform, building apps and stunning looking landing pages have never been this simple. And today in this video, we are going to explore Google AI Studio, build a landing page and an app, and also take a look at a few apps that are actually built using Google AI Studio that genuinely blew my mind. And I'm pretty sure you'll be surprised to see the result as well. And the best part is that you can access it for free right now. So let's quickly get started. So as you can see, this right here is Google AI Studio. And if you do want to follow along or if you want to access the platform, all you have to do is to click the link in the description below or just head over to astudio.google.com and you can log in using your existing Google account. And this is going to be the kind of interface that you will see. And towards the top, as you can see, Gemini 3 is already live on Google AI Studio. So first of all, before we try to build something using the platform, I really want to show you a few apps, games and landing pages that are actually built using AI Studio with the new Gemini 3 Pro model. So if I click on this build option right here, it will take me to a page where I can actually give a prompt and build an app or, you know, apps, games and landing pages. But towards the left side in the sidebar, you also have an option that says gallery. So first of all, we will explore a couple of landing pages, apps and games that other people have created using the platform. So here we have a couple of uh, landing pages. So let me quickly open it up. All right. Hmm. This is good. A few games in here. A 3D city. All right. So this right here is the first one. Maybe I can put it in full screen and look at that. As you can see, we have a really subtle this animation and graphics element towards the hero section and it actually looks good and it's very hard to tell that it is even AI generated. So every time you open an AI tool and you give a prompt like let's say create a landing page, the first thing that you will see on the AI generated page is going to be the purple color, right? The purple gradients, the text and all that. But when it comes to Gemini 3 Pro side of things, that's not really the case and this is actually a good one. And next up here we have yet another one. Ooh. Stop it look at that i mean wow see so we don't even have that purple you know elements in this page maybe this one right here which is again super cool yeah i can't even tell it is ai generated by the way and hmm, this neo brutalism kind of design and all that looks good next up we have a game it seems oh a full 3d playable space i believe break Okay, that's interesting. And next up, we have a Gemini Runner game. Yeah, this is actually a really cool game. So I played it before. So as you can see, this game was actually built only using AI Studio and that too using the Gemini 3 Pro model. How cool is it, right? Wow. Okay. Sound effects and all that. So this right here is yet another 3D space, I believe. Okay, I'm not sure how to play, by the way. We even have sound effects. Wow. So that's also cool. And finally, we also have like, what is it? A Minecraft kind of a game and that too built with AI Studio. Wow. So as you saw, these are some of the landing pages, apps and games that genuinely blew my mind. And when I even think about it, like the AI was able to create it and that too in a couple of prompts right within AI Studio, it's actually amazing. And now that you saw what's possible to create using AI Studio, we'll go ahead and try to give a couple of prompts and explore the platform ourselves. And let's see if it actually lives up to the, you know, hype. So I can click on the start option right here. And again, similar to all other AI coding tools, you have an input box. You just go ahead and describe exactly what you want to build. You hit enter and the AI instantly start working on the same. So first of all, we'll begin by giving a prompt to create a landing page. And this writer is a pretty detailed and elaborative prompt I created using ChatGPT. And it says build a complete production quality landing page for a fictional SaaS startup called as Flow AI, which helps team automate and orchestrate their workflows using AI. And I pretty much included all the stuff that I want to include within the landing page. And again, as you can see, the model is selected as Gemini 3 Pro preview. So make sure you select the same. And yeah, React TypeScript looks good. And now all I have to do is to click on this build button right here. And there you go. The AI has started working on the same. And while that is being done, let me quickly take a second to talk about our sponsors for today's video, Scrimba. Scrimba just launched their brand new JavaScript based backend developer path. And it is genuinely one of the most complete backend learning experiences I have ever seen. This is a fully self-paced job-ready program 
designed to take you from the absolute foundations all the way to building real world backend systems. You will start with the essentials like command line, JavaScript, Node.js, web architecture and APIs before gradually moving into more serious stuff like databases, SQL, Git, TypeScript and production ready frameworks like Express and Nest.js. And on top of that, there's even a dedicated section on AI and how it fits into modern backend development. But what really impressed me is that the path doesn't stop there. You also get hands-on experience with cybersecurity, DevOps and algorithm skills that companies actively look for when hiring backend developers. And by the time you're done, you're not just tutorial ready, you're industry ready. And of course, everything is taught using Scrum Pass famous interactive platform where the video lesson is also the ID. Meaning, you get your hands on the code faster than any other platforms and actually learn by doing. You will build practical backend projects that actually strengthens your portfolio and give you the confidence to walk into interviews prepared. So if you have been waiting for the right moment to get serious about backend development, then this might be your sign. Definitely make sure to check out Scrum Pass Backend Developer Path program using the link down below to get an extra 20% off on the pro plan. Now back to the video. Alright, so look at that. So this right here is the landing page that the AI created based on the prompt that we just gave and maybe I can put it in full screen and I just gave that one single prompt and I hit enter and this right here is the output. No extra prompts or no extra tweaks and look at that. Oh my god. So towards the right side you see this element right here with the animation and this is actually created using AI and I did not do anything. I just gave some context as to what this app is all about basically it is an AI workflow and automation platform like a landing page to a platform similar to that and this is what the AI was able to generate so we don't really have that weird purple you know gradient stuff like it shows up on pretty much every AI generated page if you're about to let's say create a landing page or whatever kind of front end stuff using AI but this is totally different and to be honest I couldn't even tell this is an AI generated one how clean is it right all these elements look super modern super sleek yeah, now I get the reason why people are actually hyped about Gemini 3 Pro. And again, if you want to, let's say, add any new features or make any changes, well, you can just go ahead and give a follow up prompt. I'll just ask to add the dark mode toggle and I can click on the send button. And now what happens is that the AI will go ahead and make the required changes and show us the preview right from this interface right here. And after you're done creating a landing page, a game or even an app, Next step, you can actually go ahead and download the source code to your computer by clicking on this uh, button right here that says download app. So you'll be able to download a zip file of this particular project or if you want to push all of this into a GitHub repo, well, you have options for that too. And my personal favorite feature is the ability to directly deploy the app or landing page or whatever you built using the platform in just a single click. So towards the top, you can find a rocket icon and it says deploy app and if you click on the same, you'll be asked to select the cloud project. So maybe you can select this one right here. Like if you don't already have one, just create one and you can click on this particular button right here and deploy the app directly. And again, you have the option to check for mobile responsiveness. Yeah, everything is mobile responsive. You can rotate it. Okay. So pretty much everything works. And if you want to view the code for the app or landing page or whatever that is, you can click on this code option right here and it will open up this code editor interface and you'll be able to find all the files that we have within our project and also explore all the you know code as well in which case let's wait for the ai to implement the dark mode toggle option and yeah let's just wait for it all right so there you go the dark mode implementation is now complete and i can put it at full screen and look at that so even that gradient stuff is maintained in the hero section and all that okay i can switch it back like toggle back to light mode dark mode oh my god this is actually really good by the way so basically this is how you create a landing page using let's say google ai studio next up let's just go ahead and try to create an app so here i have given a prompt like a pretty detailed and elaborative one and it says build a complete personal task and project manager application with the following behavior and features and here we list all the features that we want within our app and now i'll go ahead and click on this build option right here and there you go the ai has started working on the same and it will take some time so i'll wait for it to complete and we can analyze the results together while the ai was actually building the app it seems like it actually ran into some error and as you can see right now it says analyzed errors for 43 seconds and it thought for like 38 seconds and right now it is making all the changes to make sure that app is actually functional that's a good touch by the way so let's wait for it anyways all right so seems like our app is ready and there you go here we have a preview of the same maybe i can put it in full screen all right so i can create a new project let's say demo 
and again we actually want to work on the text visibility part i can click on create project the project is created and now i can click on this new task option right here let's say shoot a video let's add a due date priority let's put it at high ai hmm. all right so it actually looks good so this writer is like a basic and simple app that the ai was able to generate and it actually looks good and one thing that i noticed is that almost all the ui like the front end stuff generated by the ai is less cluttered and is actually clean when compared to other models out there so it has that professional touch to it is what i would say and before i wind up the video i also want to try to create a game and for that i have already prepared a prompt and i'll give the same in here so it says build a simple fast paced arcade game called space dodge and the goal of the game is for the players to survive as long as possible by dodging falling obstacles like similar to what we have like for example let's say space shooter games right so this writer is the prompt pretty detailed one and if you want to let's say turn a speech into text like if you want to dictate and give a prompt you have options for that too and if you want to attach files for reference well you have options for that too in which case i'll try to click on this build option right here and let's just wait for it so there you go the ai has started working on the same and as you can see we are still using gemini 3 pro preview and by the way the free version of ai studio actually comes with a limit and by chance if you hit that limit well towards the top you can find an option that says switch to api key that means you will be able to let's say use your own api key and still continue using the platform such that all the usages and everything else will be built to your api key directly so that's basically how it works and yet another cool thing is that for example let's say you're developing an app right within ai studio and you want to include some ai features it could be let's say video generation image generation text analysis or let's say audio transcription whatever that is well you can simply go ahead and ask the ai to implement that and it will use gemini ai model to implement that particular feature and again since we have api keys added in here it will automatically use the api key and implement that particular feature so that is also one more cool feature right within ai studio and it seems like our game is already complete okay i'll try to put it in full screen start the mission okay oops how do i play it uh okay it seems like i just need to evade the objects but i don't know how to shoot well don't we have an option to shoot let me see so right now it seems like we don't really have the ability to shoot obstacles so next step i'll go ahead and give a follow-up prompt so i can simply say please add the ability to shoot and destroy obstacles and every time we do so we get points uh let's use the space button for shooting okay so right now we only need to evade the object the shooting functionality is not implemented so let's just try to implement the same and there you go it seems like the shooting functionality is also implemented so i can click on start mission okay yeah there you go i can now shoot objects and if i touch them obviously i fail but Okay, so pretty much everything works yep there you go so basically this is how simple it is and if you do want to start using ai studio right away all you have to do is to click the link in the description below or just head over to astudio.google.com and you can log in using your google account and just start using it right away and again gemini 3 pro is already live on the platform and on top of all that you can instantly start using it completely for free i know that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in today's video i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one